This is a demonstration of the background attribute field inside of the widget creator by unlimited elements. To add a background field, I'm going to click add attribute. In the attribute type, I'm going to choose background type. I'm going to give that a title. Click tab and the name is filled in automatically. Over here on the right side, we can choose a what our default value will be. So I'm going to choose a solid color default value and I'm going to choose for example a red color. In the CSS selector we need to give the same class that we have in the HTML. Since I don't have HTML yet I'm just going to give a generic class name right now which is BG. Make sure to add a dot before the name of the CSS selector because that's how you write CSS selectors. I'm going to click Add Attribute and go inside of the HTML. Over here, I'm just going to open a div and write inside something test background and give it a class name like we added before in the CSS selector which is BG. Click update to save the widget. In pages I'm going to add a new page. Edit with Elementor and I'm going to search for my widget which is called background test or background demo. Drag that inside and as you can see now we have all the fields that are related to background. You can switch between um, a regular background type which is solid and an image. You can change it to a gradient color for example with all the uh, gradient options and uh, that's about it. So now it's really really easy to add a, all the background options to your widgets, to your custom made widgets.